and Singapore needs to know. The all-new CNA 938, live from Monday. Yes, brace yourself for a brand new breakfast show on CNA 938 tomorrow morning with Arnold Gay and Yasmin Yonkers. New sounds coming your way as well with the new teams including uh, Stanley Leong and uh, Chu Wee Lin. Uh, they'll be bringing you Money Mind and as for Daniel Martin, he'll be bringing you Life and Style and Lance Alexander and Melanie Olivero in Singapore today and Nightlife with Eugene Lowe. Lots to look forward to. This is we thanking you so much for your uh, company for all your support um, uh, all this time listening into 938 now and then we're moving on to CNA 938 tomorrow and it will be uh, time well spent for sure when you tune in to us tomorrow have a good night join me Daniel Martin weekday afternoons as I show you why health matters the insidious thing about gaming is that it's now including this gambling element. And so the gambling use disorder is quite a problem for someone in the game. We certainly have more clients coming into our clinic uh, of um, people with this video gaming addiction. Health Matters with me, Daniel Martin, during Life and Style. Weekday afternoons, 2 to 5 on CNA 938. Now. I'm really, really hoping that there's going to be more and more companies coming up with their own strategies because, again, we're fighting a huge, huge war. Welcome to News Now, I'm Keith Liu. Our top stories tonight. China says the US is solely to blame for an escalating trade war. It says the spat has hurt Washington's economy instead of making it great again. China will not yield any inch of its territory to anyone. Its defense minister lays that out starkly at the Shangri-La Dialogue. America's top diplomat, Mike Pompeo, says the United States is prepared to engage with Iran without preconditions about its nuclear program, but it needs to see the country behaving like, quote, a normal nation. Well, China has hit back at the United States, saying the American government bears sole responsibility for the setback in trade talks. In a white paper released on Sunday, China also said it will stick by its principles even as it remains committed to dialogue. A senior Chinese official also says there's no need to overinterpret the soon to be published list of so called unreliable foreign entities that are deemed to have damaged the interests of Chinese firms. Olivia Xiong with this report from Beijing. <laughs> 